Our first stop in Ubud was the Monkey Forest. There is a Hindu temple in the middle that locals believe the monkeys protect. The temple is surrounded by protection gods. Balinese put out small offerings every day with flowers, candy, money, etc. Also tall poles with banners. They often dress their idols with cloth. This school teaches traditional Balinese dancing. We enjoyed watching the children practice. This boy was very good for his age of 10 years. His costume was beautiful. I tried the hat, but didn't dance. We crossed Lake Batur to visit the village of Trunyan. It has a great view of Kentamini Volcano. The village temple is in a beautiful setting overlooking the lake.
villagers are of the Aga Bali ethnic group. They do not bury their dead. They are placed in open graves with a bamboo lattice covering. The tree roots preserve the bodies for a long period of time. The bones, except for the skull, are discarded as trash. The skull joins the line on the wall. Rice fields are planted wherever there is space and water. This woman is harvesting rice in the city. Women carry heavy loads on their heads. They have marvelous balance. This shopkeeper is putting out his morning offering before opening for business. More heavy lifting by an all-female roadwork crew. This 70-year-old puppet master puts on shadow puppet shows that last for several hours. Shadow puppets are made of hard leather with cutouts and paint. This ceremony is being held 12 days after a cremation. The deceased becomes a holy ancestor.
pagodas on small islands are dedicated to Dewey Danu, goddess of the lake. Even with the overcast, it was a beautiful sight. <laughs> 